Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Today is a great overcast day for me. I don't know what it's like for you, but I hope you're having a great time nonetheless. I don't have any introductions for today, so we're just gonna jump right into our warm up. Let's go and stretch. In keeping with our more relaxed morning right now, we're just gonna use this stretching time to uh, relax, be quiet. Think whatever thoughts you might have. Roll your shoulders back. Breathe in and out nice and gently. You can even pay attention to your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your ankles a little bit. Just move them around and wake them up. Deep breath in. And out. Another deep breath in. see me so you can't see me struggling right now <laughs> hopefully y'all are not struggling as much as I do with this stretch I'm not very flexible but I'm the music teacher so you don't need to be flexible to be a music teacher I guess okay and then as we are nearing the end of our leg stretch just one final push reach farther for your toes feel the stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings and your calves and then to do a little squat and bring it back up, hands up at the top and bring them back down. Deep breath in, hold, and let it out. Very good. Let's shake it out just to wake our bodies up from all that relaxation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Five six one two three four five six one two three four five 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two one two one 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 zero a fantastic job scholars let's go to Zuma rhythm okay so for Zuma rhythm today all I'm gonna say is good luck to everybody getting all three four rounds of this. Here we go. Ready? And tiki 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 tiki. Tiki tiki. Tiki tiki. Tiki 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 tiki. Tiki 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 tiki. So you all get it. It's gonna keep speeding up, and while all we're gonna be doing are tiki tikis. So keep them steady, keep up with it. Here we go. <sighs> tiki 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 tiki. Tiki tiki. Tiki tiki. Tiki 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 tiki. <laughs> Yeah, it looks 
it's kind of weird when you have to keep it slow and steady. My goodness. <laughs> okay, a few more times through. morning I wanted to teach you a brand new song that is a ton of fun it's called boom boom so let's listen and watch all together follow along with the words and music on the screen boom boom made a great to be crazy boom boom made a great to be crazy silly and foolish all day long boom boom made a great to be crazy Horse and a flea and three blind mice Sit on a curbstone shooting dice The horse he slipped and fell on a flea Whoop, said the flea, there's a horse on me Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Silly and foolish all day long Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Way up north where there's ice and snow There was a penguin and his name was Joe He got so tired of black and white He wore pink pants to the dance last night Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Silly and foolish all day long Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Way down south where bananas grow A flea stepped on an elephant's toe The elephant cried with tears in his eyes Why don't you pick on someone your size? Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Silly and foolish all day long Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Teacher says no gum in school Spit it out, cause that's the rule That's no fair, little Johnny said I can't spit it out, cause it's stuck to my head Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Silly and foolish all day long Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Awesome! I love that song, it's so fun! Let's all sing along with the choruses, the part that repeats over and over. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. But for all of our five different verses, see if you can follow along with the words on the screen and sing with me. Here we go! Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Silly and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Horse and a flea and three blind mice sit on a curbstone shooting dice. The horse he slipped and fell on a flea. Oops, said the flea, there's a horse on me. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Boom, boom. Made a great to be crazy, silly and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Way up north where there's ice and snow, there was a penguin, his name was Joe. He got so tired of black and white, he wore pink pants to the dance last night. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Silly and foolish all day long Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Way down south where bananas grow A flea stepped on in an elephant's toe The elephant cried with tears in his eyes Why don't you pick on someone your size? Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy 
crazy, silly and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Teacher says no gum in school. Spit it out, cause that's the rule. That's no fair, little Johnny said. I can't, I can't spit it out, cause it's stuck to my head. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Silly and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, made a great to be crazy. Brilliant job, scholars, now that our bodies, brains, and our voices are all fantabulously. Fantabulously. Is that even a word? Let's go to our main activity today. All right, all right, all right, scholars. I am really, really excited today because we get to talk, discuss, to listen, to learn all about one of my favorite things in music. Today, we are going to talk about how sound is made. But we are going to talk specifically about how sound is made in the stringed instruments. Now here we have an acoustic guitar. An acoustic guitar is probably the stringed instrument that you are most familiar with, or we see the most often. But obviously there's lots of other stringed instruments like violins, violas, cellos, harps, double basses, harpsichords, banjos, ukuleles, sitars, erus. Arhu. Arhu. What I love about stringed instruments is that they come from all over the world, and even though they can all have unique sounds, at the end of the day, when you look at a stringed instrument, there are lots of things that all of them have in common. So let's talk about some of these things that we see on an acoustic guitar right here, but that we might see and find on other stringed instruments. The first is, you guessed it, these strings. <laughs> Imagine that, a stringed instrument having strings. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so the way our strings work on a stringed instrument, I know that some of you might have played with rubber bands before or things that are like it. And what you can do with a rubber band is it starts off very loose, right? But if you start to pull it apart, it gets tighter and then you can sort of pluck it or hit it with your finger and it will start to make a sound that sounds almost like a note. And that's essentially what we do with all stringed instruments. We take strings made out of different kinds of materials, not necessarily a rubber band, and we stretch them out to a specific length. And this is the key. We want them to hold tension. <laughs> Right here, these strings aren't very loose, are they? They're kind of tight. I can move them a little bit, but they're pretty much stuck in place. But they're also not about to break. I can play them, I can strum them, and they're not going to break. So when we think of string instruments, we should also think of that word tension. The next important part in our stringed instruments is that there is usually some kind of sound hole. If I had this guitar here and say I didn't have this sound hole right here, it would actually be very, very quiet. This is a cool sciencey thing, but when you play the strings, what ends up happening is the vibrations of the strings go into the sound hole, they go into the body of the instrument, which we call this hollow piece of wood right here, they bounce around and then guess what? They fly back out of the sound hole and they come back louder. This is why, even though these strings are small, they can have kind of a loud sound if I want it to. And now just two more parts of this instrument that we're gonna talk about. Here we have the tuning pegs. So this is where the strings are attached at the other end. This part is called the bridge. But here is where I can twist these pegs, we call them tuning pegs, and they can either make the strings tighter or we can make them looser. And when you make the strings looser, the sound goes down. But when you turn it the other way and make the strings tighter, 
it brings the pitch and the sound up. It sounds higher. And then our final part of our acoustic guitar is something that's not always found on string instruments. These are called frets. So hopefully you can see them as I'm holding this up close. Frets are just these small sort of slivers of metal here, 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 and they keep going up and down. In a super simple way, basically what these frets allow me to do is to place my finger here, and if I press hard enough and then play this string, I always know that it's going to sound like this and to have this note with it. And if I wanna move a note down, all I have to do is move this way. But if I wanted to move a note up, all I have to do is move my finger up one fret. But on other stringed instruments like violin, viola, cello, double bass, lots of other ones, you don't have these frets. So you basically just have to memorize exactly where the note is on the string, which can be a little tough, but if you put some practice in, it's a beautiful sound. So let's review the four common things that you might see on string instruments. Number one. The strings. Number two. The sound hole and the body of the instrument. Number three. The tuning pegs. And then I guess wherever the strings might be attached at the other side, which on a guitar we call a bridge. Number four. And then the frets, which are on the neck of our instrument. Now in just a few moments, we're gonna watch some really, really interesting videos showing different kinds of string instruments being made and put together. So before we get to those examples, I wanted to point out a few other differences that we might see in different string instruments. And these are questions I'm always asking myself whenever I see a brand new instrument that I don't know. One, how big is it? Is it bigger than a guitar? Is it smaller? Usually, the bigger the string instrument is, the bigger the strings, and that means the lower it sounds. It's wonderful for demonstrating how sound waves work and how a string vibrates. These strings are so large and so massive that the vibrations are slow enough for us to actually see them, which is a really unusual opportunity and is a great visual for people so they can understand what's happening when we drag the bow across the strings. The second question I like to ask myself, does the instrument have frets or is it fretless like a violin? Three, and this is really important, what are the strings made out of? This is a nylon string guitar, and the sound of it is a little softer, like that. Now let me show you a still string guitar. The strings are made of metal. Like there's a song in the air and it's played just for you. A feeling so close. And number four, what do you play the strings with? This is the other big factor that changes the sound of the instrument. So right now I'm just playing with my fingers. Just using my hand has a very specific sound. But then, what if I start to play my guitar with something like this pick right here? So instead of striking the strings with something soft like the skin on my fingers, I'm striking it with something like the plastic of this pick. So you can hear 
the difference when you play with a pick. And obviously with stringed instruments, it can get even crazier. You can play them with a bow. And this is kind of a cool little fun fact. If you play in an orchestra, most of the pieces that you play will call for you to either bow your string normally, or to play pizzicato, which is where you just pluck the strings with your fingers. But there are some pretty crazy pieces that ask you to flip the bow over and play with the wood side of the bow, which creates a whole new sound. Anyway, the fifth question, the final question that I ask myself whenever I see a brand new string instrument, how many strings does it have? So all of that being said, let's go and see some examples of string instruments that people have made with materials they just had around the house. I want you to ask some of my five questions. I want you to see if this thing has a sound hole, how many strings it has, does it have tuning pegs, and does it have frets? Let's see. Louder. So I just take the rubber band, wrap it around the box like this, and then, pretty good. Let's take a few more. Now what I'd like to do, since they're starting to come together and the box is going to collapse, I'm just going to take a piece of wood and I'm going to put this piece of wood inside here and that'll keep the box from, co box from collapsing. In the meantime, let's tune this up. Too much alike, so let's make this one a low one. pretty well. All right, but what I really like to use, the better, better kind of material, is styrofoam. Styrofoam is a really great material for building musical instruments, terrible for the earth. And when I have my styrofoam with rubber bands, I have a really big rubber band here and a relatively big box, and I put these on top. Now, the styrofoam is all full of air, and so that makes it sound a lot louder. This one's kind of a buzzy sound because these uh, rubber bands are kind of whacking against the side of that styrofoam, and that makes it kind of sound a little bit African. If you want a purer kind of a sound, less buzz to it, something like this, where I put chopsticks along the side, and the chopsticks are just held on with paper clips, broken in half and driven into the styrofoam. But if you have really big rubber bands, like these industrial strength kind of things right here, then you can take a really giant styrofoam box and make yourself the styrofoam box base. That's pretty awesome. We're gonna watch our final video and we're actually gonna see a different guy build an instrument. But when he starts to play it, it's gonna sound like an electric guitar. Is so cool! By the way, that guy's name is Jack White and his music is awesome. 
Every band he's ever been in, super cool. 10 out of 10, would recommend. With that, we are actually gonna be done for today. I know that's more of an abrupt ending than normal, but all of you have done such a great job of staying focused and following along with all of this brand new information. So let's stop it right here for today and we will keep talking about this stuff next time. Take care, miss you all so much, and I hope you're having a fantastic month of May. See you next time, deuces.